everyone, it's Brendan Pyrite, and in the last episode, we reached the under, and Nascor is now talking to Venus, what's your situation? Well, a couple of mice appear to be running loose, Nascor, but it's nothing to worry about. We'll catch them right away, pulverize and mash them up. <laughs> Fine. This the priority is to distribute shadow Pokemon. Don't forget. As for you, Ian... Hurry, complete the Shadow Pokemon's development as soon as possible. Your trust will not be misplaced, Master Nascar. Already sufficient Shadow Pokemon battle data has been gathered up from our minions. My masterpiece, the most powerful Shadow Pokemon in history, shall be soon ready. Good, I will be awaiting for good news. That is all. Now, it's time we return to the lab and put on the finishing touches. And he's now marching um, down through what seems to be where the um, bodybuilder was. Come, back to the lab. Yes, sir. Should his minions be surfer dudes, too? I don't know. Um, so... Uh, um... That was an interesting cutscene. It kind of um, re uh, revealed, um, or more or less reminded, that that one person that we met way, way back in Phoenix City is working with this organization Cypher and the so-called admins of Cypher. Um, but won't we under- uh, not under- why don't we explore the under some? Who's this guy? How's he hold up? It should be here by now. So they're wondering about something that should be here by now. Maybe something up t um, up on the surface is um, going uh, differently than expected. Um, so also, I have been recently asking for- Oh man, am I gonna have to battle her again? Well, I mean, the more EXP, the better, but this is a little... Yeah, alright. There we go. Um, it would be a little, um, extreme if we needed to continuously re-battle her. Um, sorry about that. My... Oh, no. I'll explain some other time. That's just people. Anyway, so I've been recently asking... Actually, I'm not gonna get into that quite yet because we need to do stuff in here so if you remember um way back when there used to be a little boy guarding this area um in front of the bookshelf and of course there's that button on the side of the bookshelf which we already hit once before if you go in and they are now situated a little bit differently if you talk to the boy big people you're awesome you're fighting the bad guys aren't you i'll help you when i get bigger i'm sure you will uh, Marcia, hi, big people. Is Plessel doing good? Yeah, he's doing fine in the PC. Yeah, okay, I will not do that. Kids, kids, kids grid. It's the song for the kids grid I wrote. It's, isn't it easy to learn? So they're talking about a system called the kids grid. Okay, good. Keep this up and... Oh, hi, big people. There's good news. I'm close to setting up a, a communication link with the kids of the under, uh, an underground town. Okay, I'm so close. I'm going to keep at this. So now, um, we've found quite a bit more out about the Under. The Under is more or less an extension of what is just Pyrite Town. And the there is kind of a battle between just the local children of Pyrite Town and the Cypher admins themselves. Um... And we are gonna, pro I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, um, we'll be getting a bit more of a peek at that as soonish. I suppose I'm on the wrong side of the town to trigger it, but whatever. I guess now would be a better time to explain, uh, alright, no. I was thinking that the other cutscene would trigger, but now of course it's this cutscene. We go across a UFO that is an unidentified flying, like, Minecraft? Eh, no. I don't know. The Under always seemed almost like it once should have been a mine. I, I don't really know if there's any real backstory behind it or not. Um. Hmm. Anyway. I think I'm going... Wait, so... Alright. Just real quickly here. I just want to say, um, 
I'm playing this game off memory. So if my memory is kind of um, being slow, then I'm going to apologize that for, or from it, from advance. I can't apologize for anything from advance because that grammatically isn't possible. And speaking of things that aren't possible, you cannot possibly be stupid enough to pay this guy a thousand bucks for the... Alright, here we go. So... Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for the end of time again, Lady Venus, please. Hi, everyone, it's me, your Venus. Everybody's Venus, that's me. I'm very disappointed the spies haven't been caught yet. Can you imagine? Everyone, please, I'm counting on you for more cooperation. And that was Lady Venus, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for watching, please do tune in again. That was the cutscene I was expecting. Anyway, if we talk to the bartender, I find Venus repugnant. I don't even know how to say that. I can't stand that cheap co coyness in anyone. What's with the I'm your Venus shtick? It's revolting. Oh, she's my Venus. Oh, that was sarcastic. Duh. So it seems like not even everyone in the under quite agrees with um the celebrity Venus. Um, I'm trying to, um, I'm being a little coyer than usual talking to people because I remember that some will get into street fights with you and I really don't want to get that going. Um, sorry about that cut there. Um, I, so yeah, I don't want to get any street fights and there's a brief little thing. If you talk to this guy down here, ah, oh, sheesh, what should I do? I have to make an, a delivery, but I'm not still done cleaning. Hey, wait, wow, aren't you Wes and Rui? Huh? How do you know who we are? I thought so, this makes things easy. Please, can I get you to return this part to Ned's house? And we obtain the power-up part. But wait... Just tell Ned it's from Pierre, and he'll tell you the details. Ned's house is the one with the big rotating antenna dish. You'll know which one it is as soon as you see it. So we have, so we now have our mission, so unlike my stupid memory, um, he was not waiting for a radio broadcast as much as that part, and in order to, I knew that in order to trigger the part you need to trigger a cutscene, but I thought the cutscene was intertwined with another one. Okay, this place has a lot of cutscenes coming, in case you couldn't, um, tell. Anyway, so I accidentally passed this on the way coming in. There are three hyper potions which are essentially full heals for us, really, for quite a while. Um, but quick tip, I would definitely recommend you talk to these guys, and they will get into a street fight with you, because they think you're a total punk, or even some think you're a spy, but I'm not, um, I'm not going to do that on screen, because that part truly is a waste of your time. So I believe, um, that was bit of the kids grid. Magnet! You won't believe who just dropped in for a visit. We've got some shocking company. Shocking company? I'm trying not to be too shocked when you hear it. It's Wes and Rui. No, really? Bit, is that true? Is that Wes really here? <laughs> See it for yourself. And of course, we have to talk to him. Hi, I'm Ned. Second pirate told me about what you've been doing so far. Wes handed the power uh, up part to Ness, and oh my gosh, what's my computer? My computer fell asleep while I was recording! I've been betrayed! Alright. Oh, so this is, um, Pierre, great. This is all that I need to get the kids' grid back up and running. Okay, so that's a good little note to self. Don't- I'm using a um, new recording device, which apparently will make my computer fall asleep. Oh, Wes, wait, please. May I have your PDA number? We'll contact you just as soon as we discover anything. And we give her our PDA number, so she says thank you, and yeah. Okay, good times. So we've now made quite a bit of progress down here in the under. The spy! We spotted the spy! Uh-oh, uh -oh, are we gonna get jumped by that kid in rollerblades over here? Spy, spy where? Okay, apparently he doesn't think we're the guy who did that. Uh-oh, here's a gang of thugs. What are they looking at over here? Yeah, everyone's looking. Uh oh. Uh, let me go. Let me go. Shut up. It's hopeless. Quit struggling. So it looks like a few cipher peons are throwing away um Dunkings. Not to say lackey, but friend. Now you be a good boy. Lie still. That's interesting, I suppose. 
uh, apparently he doesn't trust us to just get the job done and deal with um and deal with the problems in the end ourselves. Um, your party, um, you might want to be a little higher level than mine, get into some street fights down here, but I don't know, you can save that really for another time, or especially go to the, um, Phoenix Coliseum, they're a little, they're kind of, actually, they're really close to your level, I'm probably gonna make a, I'm going to show off all the Coliseums, because they have prizes and things, and they're all a set group of trainers. So later, probably as filler episodes, I will be showing those off. Little bits of me, I guess, training in the Coliseums. They aren't very hard at first, but they get much more challenging. And, I don't know, a Coliseum tutorial might be useful. But, um, anyway, you might want to get into street fights with some of these people before doing this, but I'm just going to be foolish and not. Who might you be? If you're Taurus, you're getting in our way. Go on Scram. Hold on, you two. You're not from around these parts, are you now? I get it. You're here to rescue your pal. You two are the spice. You, wait, did she say you two are the spice too? I don't even know. So, we're going to get into a fight with the Cypher Peons. And, um, I, I really, I really, bleh, I really, really like the battlefield around here. It looks very, very nice. I really do gen genuinely enjoy getting to the street fights down here. Just because of how nice the battle area looks. The battle arenas are generally very, very good, but I have to say this one and then um, two others after are beyond belief almost. I think they're very, very nice to look at. I don't know. They look very good. Um, so my party right now is both weak to um, bug types, but um, I don't really have too much I can fix um, around that. Bug type is kind of one of my primarily actually weaknesses with this party just because they're so rare and generally low powered it's a safe thing to be weak against um i don't know now while i'm going through these battles um i was recently asking for um some advice and to those of you who participated i thank you very much um What's very weird is, um, either that I am very obvious about that I need help in this, or, um, you all are just running on the same brain waves. Um, all together you guys told me, um, I really need a chillax some. Um, take a chillaxative as, I don't know, I'll get into that story, um, soon. I needed to kind of just slow down with my commentary. Not go too overboard like I had been, and I'm going to try and do that, but I still want to give it an edge, you know, make it exciting for people to watch. Um, I know there's other ways to do that than being exciting, but I don't know. So, I said take a chillaxative, and that's, um, that is not something you usually hear. Chillax? Chillax is a more or less Californian thing, or... I've only heard it in California, everyone else is like, chillax, what the heck? Um, but, um, a, I was in a, um, English class, and we were, and we needed to reflect on a story, and the story, and, like, in the story, we were told to, um, well, there was this guy, and he was, like, getting angry over, like, little things, and he thought his life was so, so miserable, etc., and, um, we need to reflect on things, on, like, how we can, like, accept, like, sadness in our lives and cope with it. And my group of people came out, um, decided that would be a just ever so grand idea to create a chillaxative or a, lada or a um, la laxative, like you take for, um, bathroom troubles. And, of course, to make it with the effects of chilling you out, which I don't even think is possible. Um, there would need to be some crazy stuff in that to get that to work. Anyway, um, so yes, I needed to take a chillaxative, apparently, and I am going to try my best to abide by that and see if the card's still up. Well, I don't know. In the meantime, we gotta see Spinarax, um... Uh, specialty move spider web which um which blocks um 
any um, status conditions, status ailments. And Espeon hits itself, I think, all five times in a row now. Or four at this point, I don't know. Yeah, that's been really bad luck for Espeon. I, that's too bad. And I can't paralyze Lee Dan right now. Um, I don't know, who can I send out now? I suppose Man- Oh, Mantine would have been great from the start because Flying Beats Bug. I am a bozo. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, also, I haven't been updating recently, and I might as well, um, tell you why. I was starting my, um, I suppose high school career, um, recently, these past few weeks, and there we go, safeguards faded, very good. Um, so now I can do Thunder Wave, and then I'll have Mantine finish off Spinarak. But, um, no way! Dang it! Um... Alright, that's one way things can go. Um, as you can tell, Safeguard blocks, um, any status elements. I already said that. Okay, I, I said I would address why I'm not updating, and I hadn't. But, um, so I haven't been updating recently because I've been starting my high school career. I am now a freshman at high school. And, actually, no, a Pokeball is never going to work. Um... Do I have any buffing Wakanda Spore, um, Pierce, that? I don't know, I hope so. I'll try a Great Ball. Um, anyway. Um, back to my life, because mine is so much more important than the game. Um, sar obviously, sarcastically, kind of, not it's demoting, whatever. Um, I am star- I started my, um, I'm now a freshman at high school. And I'm trying to, um, keep, get my grades to a good enough point where they will be sustainable and I will not be able to set, primarily my trouble with really anything is studying time. I don't, I'm, uh, I am a fantastic study, but I don't, I, j I usually don't give it enough time and I am... I'm just r trying to be very cautious about that, um, right now, because I don't want high school to be as bad as everyone says it is, and then I get, like, like, screwed for it. That would be, that would be very, very bad. Um, so I'm just trying to make enough room right now. Um, I'm going to probably hold back on updating some. I'm going to try and update some, just not as, I'm probably just, I'm going to update, um, probably at least one episode of each Let's Play once a week, minimum. Um, if not, I will be updating more than that. I will try to do more than that, I just can't guarantee that I am. Um, and yeah, that's kind of all I can really do right now. Right now, um, I've already taken um, many tests in each of my classes, and I've and my lowest grade is my um, French class, in which I have a A minus right now because I got an A minus on the test, and that's the only that's that's we haven't even had any French homework. We've only had the test. He's just like gonna study it. And we'll be like okay, and I got an A minus on the test, and why I got an A minus on the test is actually kind of genuinely sad I got all the French um it was French geography and um and um phonics and stuff um just to try and get us into the basic stuff of um the words um what no not Pokemon controller no all right so I think um whatever it's called might be going down soon so I'm just gonna spam Thunder Wave in anticipation of that. Let's try another Great Ball. Anyway. Um. What was I saying? <laughs> I was saying. Right. So we haven't had any French homework, and I'm still doing very well in the class. So I think I'm going to take the liberty to record some. Alright, here we go. Oh, what? I got ripped off there. You're kidding me. I. That was terrible. 
Alright, Ladan's knocking self down nicely, and Mantine's tanking things nicely. Um, I really hope I can get to this, get, alright, there we go. Safeguard faded, like I predicted it should. It should also be slow enough now that, um, I will be able to get the paralysis up on it, um, next turn, if not, um, this turn. So here we go, throw a Pokeball, if it doesn't catch, we'll have paralyzed it, and then I'll be happy. Um, alright, so you guys are kind of caught up, if I don't catch it here, yeah, if I don't catch it after, um, it's paralyzed and stuff, I will free you from the impending dark shackle that is listening to me, and I will just skip, um, on to the next part. Um, so, yeah, Shadow Rush, oh, Manton died, and now I'm sad. But now it's in the red zone, it's paralyzed, we've, we've got this now. Um... Who will I send out to catch it to? I'm beyond sure. I probably shouldn't have been so gracious with letting them knock out so many of my Pokemon, but I don't know, it'll be okay. Um, so let's go Pokeball. And then Umbreon. Um, we don't have any helping moves, so... Supporting moves. Actually, Ampharos, can you con support anymore? I don't know. If that's, I don't even think that that, that will have any benefits. I don't know, I always just, um, found that lowering their stats seems to also improve the rate of the catch, but I don't know if that, um, is actually true. I actually genuinely doubt that that is true. That is true. No, that's not cool. Wow! Alright, um, cutting to it. There we go, Liden was caught, that was way too much trouble for a while, it was worth, but, eh, I don't know, just kind of rolling with the punches, this spy's actually strong, you bet we are, we get 1600 bucks, not much, but, eh, it's a little, it's a little, so now her friend steps in, don't be too hasty about chillaxing, I'm up next, so yeah, no time to chillax, we have to fight Dagger, I don't even know, so she has an Ariados and a Gloom. Um, those are two. Just um, they're gonna be easy to take out, really. Not much trouble. Um, and now I I don't know. I suppose I'll I can I I'll show this. I need to switch Meganium out because if not, Meganium would totally die. Um, it will probably be flanked as. Embryon will be probably flanked as soon as I send him out, so I'm just gonna switch Ladan in there just for kicks and giggles, I suppose. And now I'll use Thunderbolt on Ariados because I won't be able to hit the balloon with that. That won't really do much. Um, I'm only sending out Ladan to take any hits that might be waiting for what, for where Embryon would be. But I, I don't really want to risk that. So Stun Spore is gonna be going on. I'm Pharos here, that's terribly ironic that the electric type's being paralyzed. Um, let's see what else. Nightshade. Nightshade's fixed damage move. It's already been used on us before, but I hadn't I hadn't said what it did. Um, Nightshade, um, based on um the user's level, that's how much damage it will do. Um uh, the only other move I know is like that is seismic toss. Um the type um, advantage has no effect, and that's just kind of the way the move works. Um, so I'm gonna. I think Umbreon ought to be faster than Gloom, so I'm gonna try and make it flinch. I don't wanna get um, Umbreon paralyzed too, even though that would technically um, make it um, do the sharing effect. Um, what's it called? Synchronized. Synchronized would have kicked in. But, I don't know, I don't think that's very, that would be very useful, and now he's attacking our tank with a fixed damage move, which is a good strategy, but it's a strategy that I more or less hate. Excuse me, a little burp there. Um, I knew it wasn't going to be very dynamic, so I didn't pronounce it to you guys. Um, so Meganium gained a level, I guess that's okay. Not too much going. Um, now she has an Illumines. I don't even know how to say it, um, 
I don't know if I pronounced that right. Sorry if I completely butchered it. Um, another thing, I played this game way, way back when I was, I guess, I got it, I got it when I was six, I think. I don't know. Maybe even earlier, I forget. But, um, now, Silverwind raises attacks, bonus points for it. Um, but, I got this game when I was a really, really little kid, and when I was a little kid, I, I couldn't pronounce many things correctly at all. Um, I said everything wrong, 100% of the time, always. Um, so, um, I, I got into the habit of pronouncing Pokemon's names wrong and all that stuff. Um, even, it's even worse in, um, like, Legend of Zelda. I started playing that game when I was a really, really little kid, too. But, of course, I was, like, always way too afraid of, like, I would get down at the end of the dungeon. I was smart enough to do that, believe it or not. And I would get to the end of the Duke Tree, and then I would be, and then I was just too afraid of fighting Goma to actually fight the Spider Queen thing. Yeah, pretty pathetic. Um, but that's just how it was for me. Um, as you notice, um, Gloom's um ability spore or whatever it's called hasn't been going off. That's because I've been using special attacks on it. You should definitely do that. Don't attack it physically. And what the heck? What? You're like making a lot of noise. Not really. I don't think that picks it up. Yeah, it does. Believe it or not. <laughs> yeah, when you're quiet. All right. Sorry about that cut there. Um, my. Uh, siblings just returned from running an errand. Errand... I don't know. It's... I don't know. Apparently Californians say everything right, but that applies to everyone except me, really. So we just took care of all of those, um, Cypher Peons, and we find that the door is locked. Um, I'm pretty... But over here... I don't know. Apparently Silva's just stuck in there. What's up with that? I don't know, I guess we'll find out how we will free uh, poor old Silva in the next episode, because this has been going on for quite a while. So, in the next episode, we will free Silva. Oh, wait, what? Wes, it's me, Silva, from Dukings. I discovered that they were bringing Shadow Pokemon to Pyrite from here. That's as far as I got when they caught me like this. But I did manage to filch this from them, here you go. Okay, we got the R disk. R disk. For, uh, this this is an item I think will be only useful down here in the under. For a second, I thought he stole the key from them, um, while um, while he was being um arrested. I don't know, but that wouldn't make any sense. I'm sure the key is probably up there. But this this episode's gone way long enough. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.